So welcome back to my Carpenter's Daughter YouTube channel and if you tuned in to my last video I showed you how I made a double gate but unfortunately since I've been doing my drive I had to get a few things done first before I put it up and to get the driveway ready to install gravel I've been doing a lot of concrete breaking but after I'd gone round the manhole it looked an eyesore and I really need to sort it out. So I thought I'd just show you how I changed it because a couple of weeks ago, I didn't know how I was gonna do it. So I thought this might be useful to some of you. Now, this manhole must be the original one. It's a wrought iron one, and it's also been installed at an angle. So I was hoping to correct that, but I couldn't because of the way the bricks were laid. So before I carefully remove the remaining bits of the concrete, my father-in-law actually advised me to put some wood down there, but I couldn't find any suitable so I just thought I'd use an old bed sheet and make sure it covered all the sides and the corners were upward so I can just pick them up later and just chuck whatever fell inside. But then I thought I may as well use a second blanket as well, just for an extra measure. And then I removed the last bit with a concrete breaker, but I did this carefully because I knew I didn't want to damage any of the brickwork underneath. And when I saw movement, I just wiggled it away with my hands. And most of the concrete at this point was just stuck to the manhole frame. And you can see the new one we're gonna replace in a minute. That's in the background. And because we were getting ready for a gravel drive, I went for the deepest one. You can go for shallower ones, but this just suited us perfectly. And then once I've removed most of it, I just started brushing any debris away from the manhole. And this last chunk was the easiest to remove. And it just conveniently came off in one piece. So I did a little bit more brushing and then lined up the new manhole just to see if it fit nicely and this is where we realised we couldn't straighten it otherwise it'd just leave too much of a gap but it doesn't matter because the gravel's going to completely cover it so before I stuck it down I decided to remove the insert and it's just got these two handles with like a cap on top so you just pull it out, twist it and pull the handles out and then just remove it and I wanted it exposed because then I could see where the mortar was going when I needed to stick it down but before I did that, I just made sure I went over it with clean, soapy water, which, uh, yeah, it was very filthy. And you might want to wear gloves for this, because down here is where our number twos go. Very nice. Oh, and next door neighbours as well. So once it was relatively clean, I put a couple of rags down there again, and just placed a bed of mortar down. And this was one part cement, three parts sand. And I just carefully and slowly built it up with a trowel, making sure I could catch as many drips as I could. And then to see if there was definitely enough mortar on there, we placed the frame on top. And this is actually made of plastic, which is a lot lighter than the raw iron one we had. And also having the frame in situ allowed me to see if there were any gaps underneath from the inside. So I just filled those up as well. And once we were happy, we just placed it on top and just covered the mortar with a weed control and left it to dry. And the total cost for this job was about £55 because a manhole should have been 50 odd quid from Wix but I got a 15% discount and a bit of sand and cement. So I don't think it was too bad. I hope you found that really useful. I'm definitely planning to show you how we installed the gate next week. So don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Thanks, bye!